With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello question is a solid sphere of uniform density and radius 4 unit is located with its center at the origin O of coordinate 2 sphere of equal radii 1 unit with their center at A minus 200 and B 200 respectively are taken out of the solid leaving behind spherical cavities as shown in figure then According to first option, the gravitational force due to this object at the origin is zero. So if we consider the total mass of this sphere is m. So if the mass of this complete sphere is capital M and the radius of it is equal to 4 unit and the radius of a small cavity is 1 unit and this is 1 and the mass of the both cavity or both small sphere is small m and small m so this mass is equal to density into volume volume is 4 by 3 pi 1 cube then if we write the value of the density that is equal to capital m is the total mass upon 4 by 3 pi 4 cube into 4 by 3 pi 1 cube that means the mass of a small sphere is capital M by 64 now if we have to calculate the gravitational force at the center so the gravitational field due to this solid sphere inside is equal to we write here gravitational field inside the sphere is equal to inside sphere is equal to the g capital m small r by r cube where small r is measured from center so if we calculate the gravitational field at center at center small r is equal to zero then the gravitational field that is represented by i is 0 at the center due to this complete sphere then the force force is equal to capital M force is equal to small m and into i that is force at the center is equal to 0 we considered the mass m dash at the center now the this is the force f1 if we have to calculate the force due to these two spheres at the center and distance from the center is given as the coordinate of center is minus 200 and 200 so the distance of this from the center is equal to 2 meter that means we write here that the gravitational force that is f2 and f3 both having the same magnitude of force because the gravitational field is same so we write here that g mass is m by 64 upon distance is 2 square into small m dash this is the mass place at the center so we write here g capital m m dash upon 64 into 4 but both having the same magnitude but the direction of force is opposite because both are symmetrically placed about the origin so we write here that the force at the center that is f1 vector due to complete sphere is f1 dash this is due to remaining part plus f2 vector plus f3 vector so f1 is 0 force due to remaining plus f2 and f3 both having same magnitude suppose one is at i cap and another is at minus i cap that means we write here that the gravitational force due to remaining part or the due to given combination at the center is equal to zero now in the second option we have to calculate the gravitational force at point b 200 is zero that means if we considered a point 
distance of this point from the center is 2 meter and if we have write the force due to complete sphere at this point that means the force will be equal to we write here that the force gravitational force due to complete sphere at point 2, 0, 0 it is equal to small m dash suppose we place a point mass there and the gravitational field due to this g capital m small r is 2 upon r cube that means it is 4 cube so we write here that is equal to g capital m m dash into 2 upon 4 cube is 64 that means force g capital m small m dash upon 32 and the direction of this force is attractive that means towards the center so we write it minus i cap now the gravitational force due to same sphere at the center is equal to 0. So, we write here this is equal to 0. Now, this is the cavity A and this is B. We considered it. So, the force at this center is equal to 0 because small r is equal to 0. So, the force due to A. The point B is outside for the sphere A and the distance is equal to, we write this, uh, this is the 2 meter and this is also 2 meter, it means distance is 4 meter. So, we write here the force due to first sphere at point B that is equal to force due to A at point 2 comma 0 comma 0 that is at the outside we write it m dash into g the mass of the a sphere is m by 64 and distance is 4 square so we write it g capital m m dash upon 64 into 4 square is 16 so the multiplication of 64 into 16 is equal to 1024 that means this force we write it f a vector it is equal to g capital m m dash 1024 now this is the force if we considered the force due to remaining part at point B or 200 so we write it the force due to complete sphere that is fg is equal to is equal to force due to remaining part plus force due to a at point 200 fa and force due to b at point 200 that means fg is equal to g capital m m dash upon 32 we have to calculate the force due to remaining part and force due to A is equal to G capital M M dash upon 1024 and FB at the center is equal to 0. That means we write here the force due to remaining part is equal to G capital M M dash upon 32 minus g capital m m dash upon 1024 that is not equal to 0 now we have to find in option c and d the gravitational potential is same at all point now the left side and the right side is same that means the locus of all points which are having same mass lie in between both cavity that is along the yz plane so we write here that the equipotential surface lies in equipotential surface lies in yz plane that means both C and D options are correct in which the equation of circle is given in YZ plane. In option C, the 
y square plus z square equal to 36 radius is 6 and the d option y square plus z square is equal to 4 that is the radius is 2 unit so we write here that y square plus z square is equal to 36 and y square plus z square is equal to 4 both are the circle having the same potential that means the final answer of this question is the gravitational force due to this object at origin is zero gravitational potential is same at all point y square plus z square is equal to 36 and the gravitational potential is same at all point on y square plus z square is equal to 4 thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today